Sports, and they're brought to you by LG V30. And again, no John Wall, still out, perhaps a week or two away. For the Boston Celtics, Terry Rozier gets his fourth start of the season with Tatum, Morris, Gershon, you the snap a mini losing streak. They've lost two in a row as they continue to find a spot. There's two concerns for me for the Celtics in terms of their personnel long-term in the playoffs. Daniel Tice provides something in the forward spot as Sato Ransky goes on a nice drive. Marcus Smart, to me, if he can't play again, that is a serious dent in their hopes. Well, you really just to see whether or not what they're going to do moving forward. You know, Smart wants to do everything possible. He'll wear anything to let him go out and play. Baines with a good old rebound. Yeah, the silly. There's a back out, Rozier. Tatum goes to the corner to Morris. Morris for three. Score it, their teams go to a completely different level. So the Twins have much in common relative to their impact. Tatum gets past and throws it down. Nine straight the points. Toughest remaining schedule according to basketball reference. It'll be interesting to see, how, Mike, how important for a team like Washington do you think... So, say the Cavs finish fourth where they are right now. You don't want to finish fifth. You'd rather finish sixth. And that's a nice move again from Tatum. Excellent start for the Celtics. They've hit six of their first nine. Bradley Beal gets inside. Sadoransky continues his fine play. Play John Wall, Bradley Beal, and he together when, when John Wall comes back. Rozier knocks down the three. As Rozier brings it up the other way, steps back. Wait, flat missed Aaron Baines. Morris knocks down the three. Field goal for Porter. A great shooting start for the Celtics here. Under five to play in the first. Porter hounding Morris. Morris comes up short, but Baines tips it up and in. Morris stolen by Porter. Oubre, right corner three. That's good. Yeah, the Wizards slow. A multi-time All-Star in John Wall. Oubre tries to knock it away. Takes it away from Nader. Drives inside. Adjustment blocked by Rozier. But Mahimi right there on the five. Defensively for Washington after that Scott Brooks timeout and finding their way back in. Rozier, nice crossover. Can't get it to go. Greg Monroe just in the game. Gets his first bucket. Ojale the rebound. Another offensive board. Nader will try a three-pointer. And bounces in. Distance. Again in limited time, but has shown his ability to knock down the shot. Session so good off the dribble. That's exactly what we're doing. They got outscored in the fourth quarter last night. 34-21 on their home floor. Timberwolves the victory. Nahimi, how about this? An offensive spark off. Sessions. That pass stolen by Shane Larkin. Shane Larkin, another favorite of Brad Stevens. Drives inside. Oh, tough finish. For somebody else to step over. Shot clock turned off. Scott gets inside. Banks that one home. 4.9 remaining. No fouls to give here for the Wizards. Larkin off the dribble. Layup. Banks it home. How about Shane Larkin? So you wonder, does it affect him at all? And guys will go for that. They'll target it. Inside. Tatum again. Guy is just so quick and decisive with his thinking. Jody Meeks misses from point blank range. Mahimi, another offensive rebound. Uh, with today's NBA, he's got good athleticism. He can get out on the perimeter guard, guys, more so than Gortat. Ojale nails That's the record for most 20 point comeback wins. As Larkin misses that, Ubre the rebound. I mean, because of the pace of the game and the three pointer, we're obviously going to see more big comebacks. Nice feet inside. Morris able to fit. But the Celtics have played with a true big man this entire game. Tatum again gets inside, flips it off the glass with the off. He went through a little bit of a shooting slump for a couple of months, but he's starting to regain that aggressiveness. And a three-pointer for Mike Scott. Oubre, who's become a very good young defender. Monroe turns, shoots, and scores. Monroe, really good team, is what I mean. How about the job, the coaching job Quinn Schneider has done in Utah? And Rudy Gobert, I don't know if he's going to have played enough games. And there's a lot of debate about Defensive Player of the Year. Well, moral obligation knowing that Van Gundy and Jackson might have hit you on the swag word, too. Might have. <laughs>
Beal gets inside and banks it home. Just a second field goal looking to distribute more. They're getting his other teammates involved. Their passing has been fabulous. Rozier inside. Zadaransky didn't want to pick up. Beal against Ojale. Ojale, another good young defender. Morris connects. Morris gets played against each other in the NBA. Marquis turns and scores. And as close as they are, they... Markeith Morris hits the three-pointer. 